Santa Seja o nome do Senhor. Nós saudamos a todos. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We greet everyone the peace of the Lord Jesus. I invite the brethren to stand up. We're going to be opening our Bibles in the book of Daniel. Daniel chapter 3. We're going to be reading verses 24 and 25. Daniel chapter 3 verses 4 and verses 24 and 25 and so says the word of the Lord then King Nebuchadnezzar was astonished, and he rose in haste and spoke, saying to his counselors, Did we not cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said to the king, True, O king. Look, he answered, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and they are not hurt and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Just these verses, let's pray. O oh God, we glorify and praise your name because we have already been visited by your Holy Spirit. We thank you for the renewing. We ask that you may continue speaking to us through your word that we may feel your presence here tonight. We praise in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible it tells us in many books the, it talks about the faith of the men of God. We saw from Abraham that he was the father of faith that through all the things he went through he was blessed enough by God and in the book of Daniel it talks about one of the experiences from back then and it is a great test a great battle that they went through back then but they trusted in the God that they served the word tells us that the people of Babylon that was commanded by King Nebuchadnezzar they took some Jews captive and took them to Babylon the most of the brethren know the story and in the verses that we read there King Nebuchadnezzar made a statue and there was a decree that all of those that did not uh, bow down to the statue, they would be thrown into a pit of fire. And so one time it was being done and they saw that some Jews would not bow to the statue. And the Bible says that some people went and told King Nebuchadnezzar. And so he said to put them in the pit of the fire. And the word says that it was Daniel's friends. Daniel, there in Babylon, he had many experiences with the Lord. The, he had grace uh, with the king. And the Bible says that in that moment there, sometimes for the stories, we see that even at times the king there, he would do something with the, the Jewish people. But it was sometimes that he didn't want, but it was something that it was already a, a decree that was made. The, the Jews had grace with, with King Nebuchadnezzar because he had seen the power of the God that they served. And so the word it talks about this interesting verse and it shows that 
Those three Jews, they were thrown into the midst of the fire. And the word says that the king commanded that they they put the fire high, higher by seven times, and they said that they wanted they had strong strong men to to get them, and the guys that went to throw the three guys they died because of how strong the fire was. And the king said that when he looked those at those men there, and when they were suffering nothing, and they saw a fourth man, but nothing there was just, just by chance. They were showing that, God was showing that those were chosen people. And the Bible shows how much those those men were honored. We get here the the Bible and we see one of them one is there asked and what does it say? If God wants to save us, then he will save us. If not we will die. It says It says he commanded the furnace to heat seven times more. It was usually heated. And he commanded certain mighty men of valor who were in his army to bind the three men. So, so the, when we have problems, we don't ask to, to go through these problems. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they didn't ask to go through this. We don't ask for the problems or the problems that we go through but they believed that God would be with them and there the king saw a fourth man and the word says that says talks about some of the appearances of, of Jesus and there they said that the man that was there it looked like the son of God and then King, Nebuchadnezzar, King Nebuchadnezzar said, the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. And so the word it writes to us that there they were thrown. And Jesus there, the fourth, it was interesting that he chose to be there. Jesus chose us by His love, by His mercy. And when we go through a problem, we don't choose it. But Jesus chooses to be with us. They, they choose, He chooses to take us out of the affliction, out of death that we had. A they had a, their death was decreed, but but Jesus chose to be with us. And this judgment was annulled. It's annulled in eternity. This judgment, it is for the servant's life, it's for the church's life. And it's interesting that they were, they were tied up, but Jesus, and, and one day we were tied up, but Jesus freed us. And he gave us the condition to be free, to be able to praise God. And the word says that they did not walk. They, they did not walk through the fire. They, they walked leisurely. They were, they were, it was almost like they were there on vacation. The word says that 
we are going to walk leisurely in heaven. And there will be an order. There is a judgment from God's eternity in favor of the church. It will be... We don't know when it will be, but we know we are in this project. Praise be the name of the Lord.
Uh, let us stand. Let's have a glorification to the Lord. Lord, we praise you because until today, you have freed your people, not just there in the Old Testament, but until today, until this present moment, when we have a trial and affliction, you you are with us at all times, and your word has guaranteed us that nothing bad will be happening to your servants. We know that you are the God that is serving us. You are the Lord of Lords. We want to give you all the honor and all the glory only to you, Lord. The world will want, make us, or try to make us adore other gods, but we, we will not, and we know that the Lord will always free us. We, we know that we will eternally be, be with you in glory. We praise you because the world walks in affliction, and how many things have they want to steal from man, but we know the Prince of Peace. We thank you for this opportunity, and we are thankful that we can be here in praise, and we thank you for the beauty of your holiness, and we are happy to know that we serve a God that is zealous for us, and in Jesus' name we pray. In, amen. Lord, brethren, the Lord gave some gifts. And in the first gift, he, the Lord showed that they were in the middle of church. There were, there were some altars. And it was interesting that in these altars, there were only ashes. There were only ashes. And why? Because in the vision, they were shown that the ashes oh the ashes were not removed and then there was a word saying to uh, there was a word saying to give and what the Lord wants to tell us is that the affliction of the high priest his function was to take care of the fire to make sure to make sure that the fire would not cease and one of and one of his one of the things he had to do the high priest was was remove the ashes so they could put more wood and what the lord wants to show us tonight is that many lives tonight need to give themselves more to the lord they need to dedicate themselves more to this project to this calling of, from the lord the salvation of Jesus and this it doesn't mean the what we what anyone says what what anyone wants to tell you but it is a voluntary service each and every one of us have to do something about our spiritual life because if we because the the fact that the wood is missing here in this in this gift it, it shows that we need to be prepared, that we need to go more to the Lord, we need to seek the Lord even more. Those servants there, they were thrown into the pit of fire with the permission of the Lord because the Lord knew that they were prepared to go against this. And so when the servant of God he dedicates himself to the Lord. He listens to the voice of the Lord. He seeks the Lord. He can go against anything. He can go against the fire, the cross. He can go against the world. He can go against the me, your me. You can go against anything in the name of the Lord, for love of the Lord. And so here, the Lord showed another gift that a man that was in the middle of the sea, and it was shown that this man was drowning. And there in the middle of his fight, he prayed to the Lord and he asked for forgiveness because one day I abandoned you. And now I know that I am gonna die without my salvation. But when he prayed like this, 
It was seen in that moment, a great big hand that took him out of that place and said, Son, you will not die. That is the love of the Lord. When man seeks the Lord, when he when he notices his situation, when he, when he sees where he is, the Lord comes and rescues man. The Lord sends sends help. He comes and helps us. But first you have to know yourself. You have to change your position. You have to know that you are nothing. But with the Lord, I have everything. And the Lord showed here also uh, a lady that she began to write a letter of goodbye. And this letter was incomplete and she even lost the letter. But today the Lord reveals to her how much He still has for her life. She has a lot to do here still. It is not time for her to, for her departure. And the Lord is restoring the her her want to to live, brother. And sometimes our problems it does this with man. It takes away our our want to live. It takes away our happiness. It takes the away the beauty of life. And it, you really sometimes think that you just want to go. But the Lord still has a lot to use us. We cannot in any form be negligent from what the Lord has has called us for. The problems come and it is sometimes provoked from by ourselves. The 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 trials sometimes are caused by ourselves and sometimes the Lord sends, sends other things that we can go through. But we know that we need to be in the presence of God. So hopefully the Lord can speak to our hearts through the Word and through this service we can more and more seek the Lord. Let's pray and in the service. Lord, Receive the service of glorification to your name. The gifts that were showed, we ask that your spirit may now find every single heart the, the want to dedicate more to you, Lord. We ask that there may be a complete giving to your presence. We ask that you take away all failure of faith, all resistance, all rejection to your word, and that you can tonight operate salvation, operate a renewal, operate in this service that lives may be restored for the praise of your name. Take us in peace is the prayer that we make in Jesus' name, amen. And in your name we say that the marvelous grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of our of God, our eternal Father, the eternal blessings may be given upon us now and forever. Amen. The brother may be seated. Let's also pray for the people of Port St. Lucie that they may be giving a blessing. Let's pray for this. We I just want to remind everybody that tomorrow we are going to have a special service. We're going to show again the service that we had on the 24th of November. Those brethren that were asked to be here on on the 34th, we, sh we ask that they may be invited again. If you didn't invite those people that were here on the 31st, we ask that you pray to the Lord and then ask those people to be here you can go pick up those people and give the assistance because when the lord shows something like something like this is because 
he he wants to save people. Nothing happens by chance. It's not going to be a coincidence. Oh, again? No, it's because the Lord showed it and because he has a purpose in this. If one person comes here and saves himself, then amen. Glory to God. Uh, we are happy as a church, and it, uh, we are happy for we are hap happy as a church. So let's give a special atten a special attention from this calling. So tomorrow at 10 a.m. At 10, 10 a.m. As days. As days. 10 in the morning. 10 in the morning will be the service. Normally it is 10.30, but tomorrow the service will start at 10 a.m.